It's a major loss. It's a loss like like no other. Um, For Brian Jones, chief of the Community Fire Company of Perryville, and his fellow firefighters, it's a tough blow. Just four years ago, Captain David Barr Jr. was struck and killed by a vehicle while directing traffic at a scene on Route 40, and now another member is killed in a similar fashion. It's devastating. It's, I have, you know, all these guys here that, that they just don't, they can't believe it. It's hard. We're just comprehending, trying to, to get through it. According to state police, Sunday morning, 51-year-old Brian Williams, who'd been a firefighter in Perryville for 31 years and was also a longtime tow truck driver at Colette Service Center, also in Perryville, was working a tow call on I-95 around Route 222. All of a sudden, a 2001 Jeep Cherokee driven by 37-year-old Eric Schlerf struck Williams and the vehicles he was working on. My captain, she established command, and uh, she knew right away that it was a member of ours that had uh, perished. The Perryville station took the call. Williams was pronounced dead 15 minutes after the crash. And it was just a somber moment of, of all my members with their heads down, and then they, come, they, they all came over to me and, and let me know exactly, you know, let me know that it was Brian. Yeah, it's a shock. And, uh, it was, um, you know, yesterday was a difficult day uh, for, for many, many people in our department. Also in mourning, the Baltimore County Fire Community, where Williams retired from just a year ago after putting in 28 years, most recently as a dispatch administrative duty officer. The impact that Brian had uh, in, in both places, in, uh, in both communities, um, and it's, uh, it's tough. We're all just trying to process everything. We're just waiting for Brian to come around the corner and, and, and start cracking jokes and laughing, and it's, it's, it's going to be a really tough week. Williams is survived by his wife and daughter, as well as two sisters and a brother. Funeral arrangements are still being made. In Perryville, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.